Well, you know what it is. You know really how it is. I'm not going to say anything. I don't need to tell you where my allegiances lie, of course. It's got to be at Liverpool. But I'll let you guys decide how the show's going to go. Let's get on to it. Let's do this thing, baby. How's it going, people? Welcome back to the channel. It is the biggest game in English football. And you know what? I can honestly say tonight is going to be a smashing show. You know what? Firstly, um, love to all of you guys in the comments. I can already know. You know what, Gregory? To hell with you. Lateness is greatness. I can only apologize. But let's get straight into it. So without further Know what the rules there are standards let me start with the home team and like we do in a boxing fight with anything whatever is going to happen we have to introduce the challenger so i will start with out of the red corner all the way from old trafford the only ben that doesn't hide not like ben Shite, the man with the biggest smile my brother from another mother, Benny B. How are you doing, my guy? I'm good, bro. I'm good. Feeling a bit trapped with that cut jacket you're wearing, but all right. We all know that you were closet pool support all this time. But yeah, excited for tonight. Excited for Sunday. I'm only Let's doing it to. It. I'm only doing it to push you off, my guy. I'm only doing it yeah. to push you off. Don't worry. <laughs> you won, bro. You won. But love for coming on. Love for coming on, my bro. <laughs> <laughs> and of course a guy who has been i can honestly say one of the pioneers of dvd tv dvd tv wouldn't have been anything if it wasn't for this is one of the most humblest honest guys honestly seriously he's making his appearance back again he has been the most viewed on the channel, Tiny Boy, my partner. How are you doing, my brother? I'm good and you, man. Yo, it's good to be back, eh? Long lost, eh? Couldn't take the shit anymore, man, Devon, man. Yeah, bro. but it's good to be back, uh, honestly. Honestly. Love, love, I'm just love, here to give my honest opinion. Love, today. love for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys yeah, hear me? Be awesome. yeah. be can you and, uh, I can hear you loud and clear, bro. I can hear you loud and clear. I can hear you loud and clear. And of course, a guy that needs no introduction, the founder of the Reds table, my brother. First and foremost, before any of you six guys in the chat do anything, click on the link in the description. Go check out the video last night. Look personally. Um, fast forward past the first 20 minutes because then you're going to just hear me ranting and raving. So allow that. But without further ado, Adebayo, the big man, Dale. How are you oh. doing, my guy? Yo, yo, yo. Thank you very much, David D, my man. It feels, uh, feels amazing to be back. You know, before I get into what I'm going to get into tonight, to all the Liverpool fans out there, if you've ever dreamt of beating me on Sunday... You better wake up and apologize to me tonight. Tonight still, I want my apology. Thank you very much. <laughs> Mention names, bro. Mention names. That was no, like no, no. general. You'll get a bunch like of names. Fans. No. Mention names, man. <laughs> They're coming on soon. <laughs> my, my, my guy's coming out on smoke, you. you. Uh, but Dale, um, appreciate you being on, man. Appreciate it. Um, and of course, that that there you have it. That's the that's the home team. But of course, there is an away team. There is a team that are firing on all cylinders. So without allow me to introduce challenger from fresh out of the cop in my brother from another mother, Mister Beast. How are you doing, my guy? Good, good, and you, Davy? Yeah. 
I just want to. I just want to add to what they all said. They all. They all. They all. They all mentioned your name, Bista. No, I just want to rectify what you asked. This is the common case of if the shoe fits. He had to. He had to not ask Liverpool fans. He had to say fans in general because there's more Liverpool, more United fans singing that song than he's singing. That they're gonna lose to Liverpool, not other way around. Well, if the shoe fits, my man. If the shoe fits. If the shoe fits, common uh, case. Common case. Well, but love for coming on, um, Beast. And, of course, if there is one twin, there obviously has to be another. Without further ado, my other brother from another mother, Davino. How are you going, my guy? I'm all good, David D. What's up, guys? How are you doing? Yo, yo. Yeah. I saw it's it's a oh, hostile yeah, reception and it, it's a hostile <laughs> reception tonight. It's gonna now, be hostile on Sunday. You know. But but just like United, I don't think they're ready. On, they won't be ready for us on Sunday. And I don't think these guys are ready for us tonight. <laughs> Do we see, bro? Whoa! Okay, shot, shot fired. Yo, shot, shot, shot fired, shot fired, shot fired, bro. And. Uh, and of course, our last guest tonight, without further ado, we all know he always pops in like that last minute, that that last minute guy in the Royal Rumble. <laughs> there can be only one, there can be only one. I don't know how we're gonna do this, guys. How I don't know who wants to introduce him. Who wants to introduce you? Okay, can I do it? Some can I do it? Like me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I do it? Uh-uh, <laughs> not Dale. Not Dale. Who wants to do it? Dale, please. Okay. Please, please. Come for it, Dale. Okay. All to do is, the guy that we're introducing, Dale, just close your ears. Because you, this guy, is going to mess up your eardrum so badly tonight. I'm going to apologize in advance of this man. Oh, what happened to Devi? I'm going to apologize on behalf of this man. Because his man has no filter. Sometimes I wonder what's going on in his brain. But then again, he is a Liverpool supporter. So, welcome, uh, Jigger. Welcome tonight. Get your grandpa's ready. Get your grandpa's ready. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't bring Jigger in because oh, Devin is now to. out of the show. Get your face, Jigger. You need to go face, Jigger. Dale, Dale, Dale. Yo, Jigger, sorry about that, my man. Sorry. Dale, are you nervous? Dale, are you nervous? Sorry. Honestly. Me nervous? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest. Um, it's a big game. It's a big game. What I saw last night in the first 45, um, I was thinking. I was thinking about level. But Paul Scholes also said it. So, you know, his mind was also there. You know, I looked always, at always, not just the 45 like minutes, but I looked at the I looked at the goals that we conceded. Bruh, if we do that 45, that first 45 against always. Liverpool. Oi, listen, we're not talking here. Oi, are you going to introduce... Right, you, you went missing, so we just had a, a sneak peek. We're done with the introduction. We're waiting on Jigga. We're just waiting on the main man. <laughs> Grandpa, ready, yes, Jigga. Oh, yeah. 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 Jigga. Yeah. 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 Man, like a dead super. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Jigger and Mo Salah is the best in the world. <laughs> Mo Salah is the best this week. Good evening, everybody. I'm excited for tonight. Um, I, told, I told the people that are watching just to know that we can be a bit crazy, but behind the scenes, we do love one another, okay? Um. But um, yeah, back to the show, back to the show. Empty vessels make the most noise, Dales. Empty vessels make the most noise. No, I'm saying it. <laughs> that is you. That's no, you. That's I'm saying the same thing. Isn't that you, Jigga? <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's go, let's go. <laughs> but Jigga is but are they talking about your mommy's book? Take the wheel, take the wheel, Devon. Like Oli. Uh, like Oli's got the wheel, Devon. Take the wheel. Yeah, look. Oh, it's not my mother's books, guys. It's all mine. Game, um, <laughs> look, like you guys were reviewing the game last night. Um, Tiny boy, I'll start with you. Um, 
what was your opinion last night? Look, obviously, um, Dale, we chatted about it last night. Pogba left out of the first starting lineup. Obviously, at halftime, you already know people are calling for his head. But, I mean, how many times are these players going to save his ass, man? What is your opinion, Danny boy? Even, you know, honestly, you know, all his, his tactics is very bad. His, all his tactics is very bad. But what he's done for the club was very good. He brought in the recruitment-wise, he was very good. I won't lie to you. Tactically, very bad. Players also need to take responsibility for what is for what is happening. I mean, there was two chances. That can't be all his fault of that chances that they had. There was two obvious chances that they had. It. How, how is that a reflection on a manager? Yes. Is this season in bringing Maguire from a... In the, at the previous game of the weekend, very bad. He had a poor performance, Maguire now. And then managers wanted to stand with that to bring in Maguire, which he scored. But first of all, poor. We were clueless, clueless. I really don't know. I, I, you know, that was very bad. Really, honestly, in my opinion, they were super poor. And they got the good. They got the ingredients. But, you know, Hey bro, there's a lot of work that needs to be done here. Um, coaching, that, that's the whole coaching staff that needs to be, that needs to be set there. Penny B, how do you feel about it? What did you make of last night? Because I felt like, yo, the Ole Juju was strong, my bro. How did you feel about last night? You know, that first half was painful to watch, bro. Painful. Like... We didn't deserve to go 2 0 into that first half. We didn't, we did not. We had, the, you can't blame the manager. I told the guys in the group last night, I felt that they were missing purposefully because you can't miss all those opportunities. Like, what else? You can't blame Ole there. You can't blame Ole there. The system needs to change. I'm not, I'm not a fan of Ole's tactics. And I told myself yesterday that. Even if we come to win that game 10 2 full time, it's not going to make me forget what happened in that first half. And false calls, I agree with everything man has said 100% because a true United fan would feel exactly the same way. Because anything else, I think, is delusional. We all have taken us as far as we can come. Second half was again individual brilliance. I don't think that there was tactics that had anything to do with that. But the players are playing for the manager because they got a down tools last night, which they didn't do. It's weird. It's weird. I, I feel I want Ole to succeed, but I feel that he can't take us further. That's the dilemma I, I, I find myself in. So, I blame the I coach. Sorry, I blame the coach because there's nothing wrong with you. Like, I keep on saying it from the beginning. I keep on telling you guys there's nothing wrong with the team, but every time Ole comes, coach the players. There's no system, which is why you're making mistakes. And this afternoon, I made an example, Benny, when I was here, but I said, what did Tuchel do? Tuchel came from a Lampard team for a few months, so on a Champions League, they got a top four spot, to play Champions League, you know what I'm saying? So I think it is, he's got no, he's got no um, idea what's happening. And the Ronaldo signing team, the last player all the way yeah, down. Yeah, but Jigger, yes, the signing of Ronaldo was fucked up, but, but, but. What manager in the entire world would not want Ronaldo in your team? What manager in the entire world would not want Ronaldo in your team? Well, that as well. And then, and then, and then, but but he, my thing is this. He a good manager compensates for that. He finds a balance in his squad. To he compensates for that. Ronaldo is too big of a player for him. Ronaldo is too big of a player for him. Ronaldo is too big of a player for him. Ronaldo is too big of a player for him. Sorry? Ronaldo will be a big player for any manager. For any manager, Ronaldo has more followers um, than the entire. The caliber of the coach of the no, 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 man. Be realistic. Don't be like that. Be realistic. The caliber of coach that Ole is at the moment in time, the player is too big for him. If he was coach, I don't know the time with many other hands and so not to dance, etc. They can go. They can go. They can move to the other direction. But come on, be real. Ole is like a fucking Mickey Mouse. <laughs> You can't change your whole life for Ronaldo. That's fair. What about the rest of the players in the team? 
Look, can I can I come in? Um, I understand we all gonna want our word to say. We all have a beautiful part. It is you know, my show has a bit of a twist. So each of you guys get to call one power play. What that power play means is the person you are debating with has to keep quiet for 90 seconds. So when you call your power play, wave your hands like this, and I will personally mute that guy. That's all I'm going to do. You guys can each do power it. Power play. We're all happy with that. Power play, Jigger. Power play, Jigger. Power play, Jigger. Power play, Jigger. Can we all agree? Can we all agree? Can we all agree? Power play, Jigger. I'm not sure we, we six here. What is six times nine? So we can keep can I make Can I maybe five. pay for another <laughs> extra couple of seconds there? I'm using it. I'm using it. Tell me when. Tell me. We all use our power. We're going to go to the game. We can all speak together, but we can't speak together. Yeah. Look. Can I come in? Can I come in? Can I come in? Can I come in? Tell me when does it start, though. Tell me when do you want to start. Who's going to go between? Okay. So say something. You have night. Tell me when you have 90 seconds. Go. So, my thing is this. Ole out. Yes. No, Ole out, 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 out. Not yet. Not yet. So, I'm not nervous for Liverpool on Sunday. Not at all. I see us passing Liverpool on Sunday, to be honest. Because it's Liverpool. Nobody wants to lose to Liverpool. We're not going to need tactics in this game. They're going to be up for it. It's the same like Arsenal against Tottenham. I think that don't mean shit in that game at all. That like club and his system means fuck all in the game on Sunday. We can bust it and we're playing in Old effort. We've not been the best in Old effort. But when the big teams come, that's when Oli shows who Oli is. We struggle against the smaller teams. So my prediction, I'm giving it now already. 3-1 United. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> You know you you have like what? How many seconds left? <laughs> no, no, no. Everybody else can talk. I just want to hear from, from Chica. Everybody else can talk. I just want to hear from Chica. He's there. He's there. Yes. Respond. Yes. No, nah, Penny, I, I hear what you are saying as a United supporter. You won't want to lose to Liverpool. No. But like we spoke on the last part also, the thing is no one wants Ole completely out because who do you get? But everyone understands always catching on shit. So yeah. you would rather stick with him and beat if you beat us, always going nowhere for the rest of the season. And we all know that. That if if Liverpool mm. wins United on, on Sunday, always closer out by the door. But he's not gonna leave because he's don't have a replacement. There's no one is gonna come in at this stage that's As gonna do a bit of job. Available there, right? Like Zidane is going to obviously be the number one, and there's already rumors that. Ronaldo has told the board personally, Zidane. There's already rumors that United have actually contacted Zidane. So, he's do, you think, do you think Zidane is the answer? Do you honestly think that Zidane is the answer? Not really. I, not really I, in because, my opinion, I don't think Zidane is the answer. I agree with Brendan. Good question, so actually. I don't think so either. But these players, they threw Mourinho under the bus. They'll do the same with Ole. That, that comment, that, comment that, that, that Stanton made there earlier, Ole is exactly like Lampard. I see it also like that because what Lampard Lampard wasn't piss poor. Yes, Chelsea wasn't doing what it was, but he wasn't as poor as what Ole is. Like Chelsea nipped it in the bud. We're not gonna take any more of this. You are one of our best players, a legend you of the club. Took us from but, B to B. You can't take yes, us further. But yeah. this is not yeah. this is not for you. Let him out. 
And United can't feel... Ollie, Ollie stay like how... United. You might have fucked the team. We have a brilliant squad. Yeah. Free Oli to where mm. we are today. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. The ingredients is from, from, from Z to B. We now I need that manager now. that's going to take us from B to A. Whether it's Zidane, I don't know. Greg, it is adrenaline no from confidence. Ronaldo only. Sorry? Ronaldo was the only one with adrenaline. I'm answering a question of Greg there. He's making cuck statements here saying, we're going to win on Look. last night's adrenaline. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a fan of content. Content. No. Yes, sir. Um, how do you feel about it? How long does he actually have? And no, I think, think he has um, this season. <laughs> yeah. Um, now, look, last night, <laughs> last night, I think of half time. There was when I when I saw when um when he clapped to the fans. I've never seen that. You know, and for me, that you know, with these managers nowadays, um, before a game ends, you wave to the fans or whatever, and that's that. That maybe stipulates, okay, that's the last time we're gonna see him. For me, honestly, I thought like last night was going to be all his last game. Um, Atlanta, five top players out, the first team players out, and we struggled. And um, you, you, you. Oh, yeah. Yes, I celebrated. Yes, I went on. But I was like, that's that's United fans. That's how United fan goes on. We no matter how we performed, we only realized afterwards, once the stats came in, maybe we 45 minutes ago, we were biting our nails and we're doing this and we're doing that. Just because we got the win, we're celebrating, but we we need to come back to um, reality and understand that I'm 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 not nervous to play any team, but I do recognize a great team, and Liverpool is a great team that we will be playing on Sunday. Um it's a it's a powerful team. It's, I don't know how we're going to beat Liverpool because there's no tactics with Manchester United. There is no, there's no formation. There's no whatever. Um, we've, we've been speaking about indiv individual brilliance. This person, we can only rely on that person and that person. Sunday is going to be a game of indi uh, individual brilliance only. Nothing else. It's not going to be a formation. There's mm -hmm. not going to be a change in formation. We are going to see the same formation. If we have to play the second, the second half team against Liverpool. That we played last night, that second half team. I'll be happy going into that game knowing, okay, we're gonna give them a fight. But I just feel he's probably gonna win the game. That's only. But I don't know how. I don't know how he's gonna do it. I don't know who's gonna score. But I think the three points will come to us, and I can't give a prediction. But other than that, Oli's gonna stay. What do you mean you can't lose. give a prediction? Yes, you can give a prediction. Yes, you can. Give I can't. A I honestly can't. I honestly one, can't bro. give a prediction. Don't, don't be shy. Don't, don't, don't be shy. shy. Don't, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Like don't be shy. No one prediction. Tell. 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 No one. I'm not gonna fall. I'm... Tell. 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 Yeah. Tell. Yeah. Tell. Yeah. Tell. 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 I won't. Yeah. I'm not gonna fall into the trap. I don't have a prediction, honestly. I don't have one. Honestly speaking, I don't. Tell, come on. You can't sit in the face of the Don't be careful. Nah, there is no prediction. Look, I say, I'm gonna push it off. Sorry, Devin. Devin, sorry, sorry, Devin. Sorry, Devin. Tell. You saw the first one. Go ahead. We agreed that, that, that that's not good. That wasn't a good pass. So. You yeah. know you can't do shit like yeah. that. You know that. You know that. No, we can't. About the that's four. Four. That's, that's five no half time. Make that that was <laughs> yeah. you yeah, bro. That's five no half time. That's five no half time. That's five no. That's five no. Exactly. Liverpool will put us to bed with that performance. And I you know, know what? The, I, 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 know. See, like I said earlier, I listened to... Um, I, I was watching fans on this often as well. And I was listening to Adam speaking about Bruno Fernandes and his heart. The way he's he he said and he said the right stuff. You said um, um, um like the like nice mistakes or the stupid mistakes you need to correct it five. Because you can't play like a thing is level four. Even Scout said the same thing. You can't play like a thing is level four. You know what I'm saying? With the current form of <laughs> with the current form of most sitting in my United Library Bradley. <laughs> yeah. With the current form now. Guys, Isidore, guys, I, nah, I didn't want to jump into, into Dales. Yeah, there we go, yeah. there we go, wait, there we go. So we know. Quarter to, quarter to 10 last night, I was really nervous. Quarter to 10 last night, it was about half time in United's game, I think, more or less. I was really nervous. When I saw the scoreline 2 0 half time, I knew it's going to take that one push on Sunday if then all is out. 
Me personally, I want to see Ole stay there because I know as long as Ole is at the wheel, United is going to be where they are right now, and that's in a in a confusion state. And as long yeah. as they can stay there, that's good news for the rivals. But coming to Sunday, it's a rivalry for the ages. The form goes out the window. Performance-wise goes out the window. It's the result that matters. And if United can win 1-0, any if there's any score, and if United wins, no matter what the scoreline, it's going to be, they get the bragging rights at the end of the day. You know what I mean? The three points on the line, and that is what we're going to push for. But I think that, that um, if Ole gets a result, whether it's a draw or a win, he's going to, he's going to, be, he's going to be safe. He's going to be safe. Do you think they can okay. sack him? I asked us in the last part. Do you think they can sack him? Do you think Liverpool can sack Oli? No, I don't think if Liverpool even beats United, they're going to sack him. I don't think they will but sack like him. But like a poor, poor performance, like a 6 poor. Yeah. I see, we saw United for, if we just take two months, if we look at the past two months, we can pick a few performances that is worthy of being sacked. That Ole did against not big opponents, even small opponents, like, I would not feel bad losing if I'm United losing against Liverpool or losing to City, losing to Chelsea. But if you play against Atalanta the way you Hello. play, with five of their players out, then mm -hmm. that is sack. Now you can go. But that's so always been see. Ole, though. That has always been Ole. We always play good against the top six sides. But, but in, in the, your Brighton's the board. and your Villas and your Everton's, that yeah. is where we It's true, yes. Look, in 2019... When Liverpool were on that run, ah, we were winning and we were winning. We were just running through all the teams. There was one team that stopped us from winning, and we, we picked up a draw. At, and I think it was at Old Trafford, and there was United. La -la -la. So they will one, always one. pick up the yeah. game. They will always pick up the game against Liverpool. So, so yeah, you can expect that's like anything. Form and all out to the window for this one. That's why I'm not even nervous mm. for Liverpool on Sundays because yeah. it's, I keep on comparing it to Arsenal versus Tottenham. You just know that mm. doesn't matter. Arteta does what? Everybody's going to be yeah. up for that game. Yeah. Our players are more up for the Liverpool game than what they are for the City game. We as mm. fans, exactly. players, mm. we don't give two mm. shits about because <laughs> United is bigger than just the City of Manchester. I'm not mm. nervous at all because mm. this, yes, Liverpool will be our biggest test of the season so far. We haven't played as big a club as yet. We didn't. We did not mm. play the Chelsea's and the City's yet. But if you look at Liverpool's games against the two big clubs that they did play in Chelsea and Atletico Madrid, if it wasn't for both and, red cards, so look, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I don't want to disrespect Liverpool by saying that they were lucky. I will not do that. But in the Chelsea mm. game, there was a red card. You guys drew that game. In the Atletico Madrid game, there was a red card. Had there not been that red card in that Atletico Madrid game, in that second half, I think they would have won Liverpool last on Tuesday. The same with Chelsea. The same with Chelsea against them. No, 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 no. If you winning, no, no. you would pick Chelsea. Remember Brentford? Remember Brentford? So Liverpool is like was three, three. As you would like to believe. They have, they have a cut performance in them. The and same. that shows they can concede, eh? That yes. shows they concede. Yes. yes. When Dijk is in the play that he was last season. He's not. And you can't expect that because he's been out for a whole year. But he's been brilliant back. But there's a mistake in him. There is a mistake. And only, and only, I don't think Ole is even going to be a, a, a big team to, to Liverpool. That player must be fired up alone. They don't need yeah. a team to go in. To, he must just set the team out and go then. Fucking give them the first lose of the season. You're going to get your first lose of the season. <laughs> Scream shot <laughs> <not> in the <laughs> seconds. Video tape and save it for them. For after Sunday. Excuse Before the loss is coming this Sunday. Oh my God. You're gonna hear. You're gonna we we the, we the only beaten so far in the season. And on Sunday you're gonna hear and still the end. <laughs> 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 but this game can't end in a draw though. I was Davido. waiting for it. This game can't end in a draw. Look, um, I want to firstly um, look up. Of course, we're having our discussion, but I want to welcome um, Xavier from the Lost Whistle essay for joining us. Um, of course, you guys know what to do. This link to Xavier's channel is in the description. Like and go slap a subscribe on the Lost Whistle. Xavier, I want to ask you a question before I even come on to the other gents. I know you only have like, what, 10 or 5 minutes, but if I could give you a choice, 
you either lose to United and Ole stays, or you win him and he gets fired. Which one would you pick, my brother? I'm sorry, brother. Yeah, yeah. I thought I was the only one. I thought I was breaking up. Yeah, yeah, you Everybody else yeah, yeah. see if he's normal? Yeah. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I there's no hear hear me. You can just drop our play already. What a question. Ah, let me jump out and jump in again. Yeah, let him jump out and jump in again, man. Um, but anyways, let's move on. Let's move along. Jigs, Davino, Bista, what would you choose? United win or Leicester's? Or you Liverpool lose and he goes, pick one. I want to win, my brother. I'm not going to lose. You call him an organ so I don't want to win. I don't want to win. not in my team. Ole's not my burden. Ole's not my problem. Fuck <laughs> all the fuck My team are just We are I feel about it? I agree with with my with my with my uh, with my peers. I would say uh, a win, a win at all costs. A win at all costs. We don't yeah. give a we fuck. Like fuck Ole. Ole. We, we, we don't give We up. would like to fuck see Ole, Ole stay. Fuck Ole! Fuck Ole! <laughs> fuck Ole! <laughs> fuck about him. One thing you ask me. Don't ask cat questions to us in the guru. Yo, what cat is that? What is Ole going to do with us? <laughs> nah. We pause that already, Dale. You guys are evil. You guys are evil. That's that bottle cup FC, my guy. Man said bottle cup FC. Um, look, I want to actually play with Liverpool. Um, <laughs> my son Bradley, oh, shut Tell you want to see the voice now. You want to see the voice now? You can send it, send it, send it to me. You know, my guy, I will play it. Don't worry, I'll play it. Don't worry, it's not a family channel. There's no rules on this channel. Don't worry. Let me thank you, Bradley. Um, <laughs> That was a modest man. He just accepted. It's modest. <laughs> Yes, I get back, y'all. Say no more. Look, look um, Bisa, I asked you this question the other day, and I want to pose the question to Davino and Xavier, if you can hear me. Do you really, like, if you had to compare title rivals, do you see United as a rival right now? Look, obviously, I know there is your Chelsea and your City, but do you see United as a title rival, Davino and Xavier? We, we give it to Xavier first. Go for it, Xavier. United. Of course, you're always going to have to think about uh, United as a title rival. Even if you win if you win the league, you still have to beat United, you know what I mean? So, bragging rights and everything. And I think most of the local supporters will agree. Even though we don't give two shits about them, we still have to consider that they could rise at any minute. I mean, at the beginning of the season, we thought that they were going to be, you know, a Premier League, you know, team, you know, your proper team. But now you just kind of think like, yo, Liverpool's got the edge on them. So, yeah, definitely I think that if we don't win United and we win the Premier League, 
It's still gonna be held above our head. My blue guy, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I think they will always be, they will always be our, our rivals and so on. Um, I don't think they're quite ready yet for the title at the moment. They still, they they're still, they're lacking something big time. They're lacking something big time. And like the guy said earlier, with 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 the, when they made the comparison with, with Lampard and and Ole, I definitely think that um, if they get a different manager, he can take them to the next level. But right now, I don't think so. <laughs> Because the thing is, I'm more worried about Liverpool and where we are right now. I'll be here by Dale. What does he think if he thinks United is going to continue or not? Say so again, Tavino. Yeah. I want to hear by Dale. <laughs> he can ask a question. United is. But I can't, I can't, the American. Yeah? Must I, must I repeat the question? Yeah, please, please. <laughs> I, I, want, I want you to tell me that you think United is... But... Oh, okay. I want you to think... Oh, yeah. well, even Dana and Benny, you can tell me. Um, do you think United is tied to contenders? At the beginning, that's, I think that is why we are so upset. And that is why... Because at the beginning of the season, I've never been so excited going into a season that what, than what I was at the beginning of this. I mean, even before the signing of Ronaldo, I genuinely thought that this year, we could be tied to contenders. It's too early to say that we are not in the race anymore. I mean, it's not what six points, which can be turned around very quick. Yeah. But it depends on where you go. Like, we can't lose anymore if we want to win the league. We're there. We're there. If we lose to Liverpool on yeah. Sunday, I could say then that if we win the title, it's going to be a miracle. If we win, we're still in there, basically. But I've said from the beginning, my favorite is Chelsea. Um, I see United coming either second or third behind City, and I see us ending up above Liverpool this year in the log. He's the right. We have a thousand rand on that. That's the money with the mm. Liverpool. Correct. That's money with the Liverpool. Just, 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 just repeat the so, question again with your name. Is United title contenders? How many do you think United is contenders? Nah, definitely not. 
Um, I think when the season started and I saw the the the, the buys of Varane and Ronaldo and Sancho, of course on paper, on paper, you yeah. know, it looks. <laughs> yeah, the guys, maybe they make me lose my words. Yeah, but okay, I'm gonna stay focused. Um, on paper, we probably do have the best team, but um, mm. honestly, honestly, this season I don't think we're gonna actually go the distance. Probably further fourth. At the beginning, I actually said that we're gonna end first, but after the performances, I'm like, mm. we're playing away, we're playing away, stupid game, so it's not gonna work. I don't think so. Bro, what did you do to Bradley, man? Please tell us now. We need to know. Yeah. We no, man. You know, know, you know, know. What did you do to the people, man? I'm serious beef with Dale. You know what I realized? Nah, man. You know what I realized? I'm the substitution for Pascal. I'm, 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 I'm the substitution for Pascal. So I'll take the heat. I love it. Bring it on. Bring it on. <laughs> nah, Bradley is a guy. He is a guy. So continue, continue. I love it. I love it. Bring it on. We need to know the background, man. I feel uh, that we have we in the viewers in. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going at top of the I want to before we even preview the game. I have a simple question, and I want to ask Xavier actually first. I want to ask each and all of you that, Benny, you've already used your power play on um, Jigga. So remember, the rest of you still have a power play. 90 seconds, he keeps quiet until you get your point out there. Um, but my question to each of you before we even preview the game is, what does this game mean to you personally as a fan of your club? Xavier, I will start with you. What does Liverpool versus Manchester United mean to you, my man? I want to... Okay. Use your power play, Xavier. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I'm using mine. No, I'm trying to... He asked him. He posed the way he did him. Use somebody, please. <laughs> I use man, can I get two? I'll buy it. <laughs> Why does one go for it? Go for it, Xavier. At the end of the day, this is a one of those calendars. <laughs> <laughs> but bragging rights, you know what I mean? It's not just about the game, it's about the pride of the fans, you know what I mean? And it's important to us. And we need to win it either you know, on both sides of the occasion. Hopefully, Liverpool will do it. But yeah, it's deep rooted in the heart, you know what I mean? As you were a supporter when you were younger, you did it this because it was, it, you know you were going to be like this. It was going to be called soon as, as soon as you, you got to school. So when you do win, there's a sense of pride. A sense of, uh, of joy. Yeah, you just got one over, over your rival team. So it means much more than we think it has. I would actually, I would actually divorce. I would not attend my wedding. I would rather go watch one of you. Yo, yo. Wow. Yo, man, I don't know. That's what I say. I'm on YouTube. Am I in there? What a great throw. SD. Whoa. That is nothing. That is nothing. That is nothing. That's what it is. Okay, thank you. Sorry, my brother. Okay, my brother. I'm going to say that's all. Okay, my point of this house is that you want to make a good thing. Why I want to be this week? Because why I want to win this weekend is because. because I've been saying it from the beginning of the season already. I've been saying it from the beginning of the season already. You know what I'm saying? I can't tell you, man. We were just from the beginning of the season because why? We look like we never only signed a defender. They didn't see us and I, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I 
And what's happening? We came through. We came through with the same team. The man is a lion, Mo. You said now nah, they can't do it, and they're coming again. If we can do it one more time, then what I've been saying all along is true. And that's my statement, bro. And I know we're gonna move this on Sunday. You know what's gonna. That's gonna be a fun hype stuff. You know that, bro. We're taking. We're taking. We're taking. We're taking. We take him out yeah. traffic and I didn't come came to come rob I said rob us my dog. I'm saying three points I'm taking. I said four I'm coming to come fetch three points and that's that. Clear. That's that. That's that. That is that. Yeah. 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 He knows he's not confident of that three points. They know they cannot say United okay. is out cut and Liverpool is out quiet. Oof. You you saw all of you. I'm telling you, Benjamin, okay. I'm coming to the get three points. That's all. No, I, you got your game. I'm coming to the pitch. 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 i um, I am. Um, we're gonna come on to that. Um, yeah, I actually want to ask is the reason why I have the two brothers on the podcast actually, uh, because I grew up in their house and I know exactly what this game means to them. So, Danny boy, I want to ask you as a United fan, probably you probably like what one out of three United fans in your family. That's just a proper guess. If I had to take a proper guess. What does this game mean to you on Sunday? And then I want to come up to you. This is coming on from generations now. It's, it's going to be a <laughs> tough one on Sunday. But it's, but it's no right. Liverpool is a great team that we are playing against. There's no doubt. I'm just being cocky by saying we're going to move them and stuff like that. I know we're a cock team now. That's now. Crazy. You know? You know what it is. You can look at a great job with him, so I don't give two shits what happens Sunday, but all I know is I, have, I just feel I've got a feeling inside of me that we're going to move him Sunday. There's a first news coming Sunday, and I haven't, <laughs> I haven't believed yeah. inside, inside, inside we're we're not cut team, we are going to cut team. We're not a cut team, we just play cut. We're not a cut team. Mm. We play cut. That's a thing. We got cut. this team here. <laughs> <laughs> big difference. Big difference. Big difference. First stage of yeah. the David, 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 you know, sorry, I don't know, there's a, there's a, go ahead, in the look. background there by someone, I'm not sure from where it's coming. Uh, he's a clicking here. Yeah, man, somebody's clicking, I don't know, who must have mute now? Like oh, who's it's calling it's somebody? Bradley. Power play. Bradley. 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 Using a power play. It's Bradley. Okay. David, I'm going to try and keep it short. I'm going to try and keep it short, man. Um, 
look, growing up, me and Jane, we were growing up, we were in the same room. So one half of the room would be Liverpool posters, the other half of the room would be United posters. Whenever there's, uh, whenever we're fighting with each other, whatever, there's, or, or you must know when things didn't go the way it should have gone in the game, there's posters that's flying off the wall. It's, it's, it's crazy times, you know. But it's the most, what I can say, it's the most nerve-wracking game. And it's the most satisfying win if you can win against your against United. Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. that's one thing that I'm looking forward to. That's one. Thing Did you ever fight? To. Did you ever fight? I won't say really, but um, they fight we try to. We try to. We try to. I was already chased out. Very physical fight for you. I was already chased out. Very physical. You always fight, don't you? Very Look here, one one time we, we we couldn't really get it to eat each other or so on. Huh? So we said, okay, when the one sleeps, <coughs> and the blue eye. Said, when the one sleeps, you come for it and you take it. I was just, I was probably just going for three seconds. This guy was coming at me. <laughs> but yeah, yeah it was good times. Good times. Good times. Good times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's good. Time. Go ahead, my bro. Go ahead. The floor is yours. What was I? What was I? No, I just commented on what Benny said. I just commented on what Benny said. Are you posing the question to me also? Yes, as well. But I've already. Mean to you? Is it not me going out or what? No, no, no. I can hear you. Bro. Okay. Now it's, it, I can echo what most of the none of the, what all the other guys were saying. I can echo most of it. it, it you forget about who's laying top. You forget about what happened last week. It's just on the game. You know you're going to have that bragging rights up until the next fixture and even after that fixture because even up until the, today, I can still hear someone come at me and say the Berbatov game. Everyone knows the Berbatov that game. Was the that game still game hurts. Though. That game still hurts and you'll never forget. If I bring up the 4-1 Stevie G um, against United with a, with a free with a Aurelio free kick, it still mm. hurts. Mm. And it was Ronaldo scored first in that game. It was 1-0. But that is yeah, that game yeah. that you remember. And that is mm. always what will get to you. So regardless of who's laying away, mm. my main concern, to be honest, for Sunday is Rashford. I don't care about Ronaldo or Bruno. His game against Leicester and his game last night proved that showed me the Rashford I saw when he got there, when Zlatan was there. And that's the Rashford I was scared mm. of. And I... Like, like Greg said earlier in the show, um, individual brilliance. But I think the focus is, shouldn't be on Bruno or Ronaldo. It should be on, on Rashford. Because he's done it before against us. And he can't do it again. Absolutely. Ronaldo has done it before. Like it. Hey? Wait, let Xavier. Xavier was going to say something. Go ahead, like it. The sound come from Xavier. Xavier, yeah, down here. Yeah. 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 on that one. It's just Rashford's movement is just incredible. He might just expose, mm. he just exposed I mean. Brentford. One thing that we have to worry about, we saw it in the Brentford game, how he was exposed, <laughs> and it just seems it just seems like that's gonna yeah. might be a tactic that Oli will use on the left. But if he doesn't start, I think we have a good chance of bringing a um, threat to the front and making opportunities. But yeah, if that's Oli's tactic, then definitely we're gonna have to play through Andy Robertson and obviously compact that area on the right of the right back area. So yeah, I agree with Pesta. Fair enough, fair enough. Say no more. Um, okay, big guy left. Um, Benny B, you know what? Let's not hide. Let's not hide anymore. Let's get straight into it. We're waffling. Um, talk to me about Sunday. How do you see this going? Um, what do you want to see in terms of your lineup? Um, basically, I know you don't want to lose the game, but what do you expect to see from Ole? Because I'll be honest, when I saw Solskjaer dropping Paul Pogba last night, I was like, wow, brave, brave move. But what do brave you move, want to see brave tomorrow? Move, brave move, brave move. And and what I noticed of United is, or what I noticed with Ole is, so if you come on as a sub and you do something in the game, and coming on, he's going to start you next week. So, like Rashford came on, scored against Leicester, is in the starting lineup today. That is what Ole does. Mm. I don't think that is why we also come back mostly after half time because they never go into a game prepared, I feel. So Sunday, like we said, it doesn't depend on anyone, on anything. <laughs> it's just on the day. Form goes out of the window. With the personnel, I really don't care who starts it. I think it's going to probably be McFred. I don't know where Pogba is going to play because 
we need Rashford in this game. Pogba will definitely play. If he plays, he will play on the left, which means no place for Rashford. We can't leave Greenwood on the bench. And I doubt he's going to leave Ronaldo on the bench for this one. So, Mm-mm. no ways. Oh. No ways. So, to be honest, I, I don't know, but it can be a 6 0. It can be a 3 1. It's going to be the same formation, bro. It's not going to change. It's not going to change. It's not going to change. But I think yeah, but who's going to go on the left? Rashford, Pogba. Pogba on the bench again. If he goes back, Fred Pogba's on the bench again. Yeah. Rashford on, Rashford on the left. Even with Pogba on the start, bench. We're hoping Sancho will go on the right. Then Pogba on no, the Green bench. Wood, Greenwood is definitely going to start. Greenwood on Green the right. Definitely going to start. Ronaldo on Greenwood's top. Greenwood is going to start on the right. On the right. right. Ronaldo down the middle. Left is... Anybody can play there. It can be Rashford, Pogba or Sancho. We know McFred is going to play. I don't maybe, think Varane is going to be... Just hold on there quickly, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, man, I'm gonna leave the, leave the chat. Um, a man can't focus with comments like this. Um, so you guys enjoy. Like it. It, and like um, it. just for in future, man, just, just for in future, you need to press your case you at the end on the show, my man. Um, because other people look onto it, and of course, it's not like But enjoy, guys, and enjoy the rest of the show. No, I mean, where are you going? Okay, wait, wait, before you jump out. <laughs> Bradley, Bradley went he went one to four. Bradley went one to four because we <coughs> I forgot about the head again and the barber. And then he just brought another one up here. But Pogba is when we brought Pogba up, so Bradley felt nice as <laughs> yeah. the barber in there also. But we were going so liquor now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's mad. Anyway, carry on, where were we? <laughs> Yeah, he's going to start in the left. So I don't think Varane is going to be ready for Liverpool. I don't want him to be out for three weeks and come back against Liverpool. We made that mistake with Maguire against Leicester. So, but Lindelof looked shaky last night. Jesus Christ. Mm. Varane looked shit. So I don't know then. It can be six Pogba's the top assist Liverpool. in the Premier League. Pogba's got the most assists in the Premier League, Craig. He can do it mm. if he needs to do it. Well, uh, apparently Bruno had such a shit game last night. He made the record for most chances created in a single game. The record. Sure. He has the he record in the league match, also. But... A game that we lost, Aston Villa. Ten. Ten chances created. So, are we really that United, uh, look. I, I feel United changed a few things in the game yesterday because I never saw Bruno that much on the right-hand side as what he was last night. Whoever saw exactly. Fred taking a one-on-one with the, with the centre-back and rounding him, he was never in that position. Yeah. Fred scored, Ooh. but it would be a, a shot out of the box. The ball. Yeah, Scott that is very ball. unlikely. The formation at his pl- at Look at the place. Look at the was calling from that. Look at the he was calling from doing that. But then he gets he gets criticized for his stuff that he does. Yes, he made a lot of errors. Did make a lot of errors. But there's a lot of chances that he played for sure. And out yeah. of that chances, all other players create their chances. I don't I don't I can't count. I can't. We could have gone into the first half. Four two. Yesterday we should have gone into the all that chances. Yeah, no. Get the team, you guys are fuck. No, no, no. And we, we and we. chances also. Remember, yeah. they only had that. That also the Rashford, the two of Rashford as well. The Rashford one. And Ronaldo too. The Ronaldo as mm. well. Mm. Look, let's come on to it. Um, let's come on to the predictions. Penny B, prediction. If I can ask you for a prediction, give it to me. 3 1 okay, United, bro. 3 1 United. Don't ask me who's going to wow. score. But I'm going to beat Tabata here. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny boy, at the starting lineup, or what are you doing? Starting lineup, or are you know. doing a base eleven? Three one, three one, three one. Sure, confident, confident. Uh, it. Right here, talk to me. Your prediction, my bro. I think it's going to be a tough one. I think we will concede the goal, so I'm going to go with a comfortable three one. Oh, everyone's going for the three-one. Actually, it's nice. I love it. <laughs> um, now, you know, talk to me. Prediction. Even I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna lie to you. I gave my prediction before this game to to Lauren, and I I, I also said three-one Liverpool. So uh, it seems like that's gonna be the lucky score then. Yeah, <laughs> everyone is going for three-one. Beast. Okay, let me. Before I come on to the main question. Yeah. Beast. 
your prediction before I come on to the question I want to really ask Siri, tonight? Siri, one seemed like the obvious prediction because I, the way I see the game playing out is just if Liverpool take the chances, they're going to score three in the first half because they're mm-hmm. going to get three clear chances in the first half. If the Gea is going to be the Gea that we hate and United love, then it's going to be a different ball game. I do see, I do see our defence being exposed to. on one of the wings, Robertson, mm. or more likely on mm. Trent side. And if mm. Rashford's going to play, he's going to give Trent more of a headache than what Pogba will do. Because Pogba's not going to run at Trent with the ball where, Pogba, uh, where Rashford will do that, and that's going to cause us a problem. So I would go... Our defence is going to be through the through the centre. Virgil is going to do the tricks. I don't see them scoring, so I'm going to go play it safe and say two 0 Liverpool. Okay, fair enough. And now I want to ask the main question: the guy who I feel doesn't get the credit he deserves, and I want to ask this question: Is Mo Salah the best player in the world right now, Davino? Talk to me. Who is the best player in the world, if not him? I agree with you, Devin. 100% is the best player right now. But at the very same time, I'm on the same boat as the people that is saying there's no trophy for a best player right now. So, exactly. so if he can keep this going for the rest of the season, by all means, put him in the in the, in the the um, bracket for the Ballon d'Or. Then we can talk about it once we, want, once we win something. But yes, right now we can talk about what he's done. I mean, look at, look at um, Vinicius uh, against... Would they play Schechter? I'm not sure. I think he also, lost, did, yeah, he, he also scored a brilliant solo goal in the Champions League. So, so, but right now, I don't think he's a better player than, than Mo Salah. But for me personally, I would rather have him be consistent like this, like he is right now, right through the season, and then be in the top of Ballon d'Or. Then we can talk about being the best player. But I'm not so much a fan of this thing of the best right now type of guy. And so this is my personal opinion. I just, I just want to come in there with the we know so what he's saying, Davy. Uh, my thing is, everyone says, everyone that asks the question, is he the best right now? Those are the ones that don't want to hear right now. Yes, then don't yes, ask the question. Mm, Do not ask exactly. the question. Because you, mm. if you're going to tell me, or you're going to ask me who's the best in the world, I'm going to tell you the last Ballon d'Or winner. Because if mm. you're going to think about Ballon d'Ors, we're only going to mm. see the next one with the next awards mm. in January. So yeah, now exactly. the best player in the world is the last Ballon d'Or winner. And exactly. Salah, if we if he does this for another 20 games, he still won't win the Ballon d'Or because the, yeah. he doesn't fit mm. the criteria. Yeah, so Liverpool, was, the- Liverpool was poor last season and that's mm. where the Ballon d'Or is going to come from. No Champions League, mm. no league. Yeah, Salah yeah. can score 100 goals this season. He's not going to win the Ballon d'Or. He had his chance mm. to win it. He was robbed. When Dyke could have won mm. it, they were robbed because they met mm. everything. The full criteria. Mm. We won the Champions League the mm. first year, and that was perfect mm. for Ballon d'Or because it was the two years running over each other, but it was one mm. calendar year. So it was mm. Champions yeah. League and Premier League. We got eight mm. players up there in the top 10 list. We only got in the mm. fifth Pro 11. None of them won yeah. the, the, the Ballon d'Or. Yeah. So yeah. the criteria is always going to be against Liverpool. It's always yeah. going to be against any English club because it's changed yeah. ever since the last time an English player won it or a player from mm. the Premier League, which is Michael Owen. So I mm. hate it when they ask me, no, is, is, Sal- Salah the be- is Salah the Ronaldo best in the world? The Ballon d'Or, so. mm. Where was it United? Yeah. yeah. He, he's one. the best. Salah is the best player in the Premier League. Benzema mm. is the best player in La Liga, if you're talking about mm. at the moment. Haaland is mm. the best player in, in Holland because... You can't compete and they play in completely different leagues. And I don't get the fact that they're saying, yeah, Salah scored 8 in a row. Now he's all of a sudden the best. He's been doing it for the past four he's seasons. Doing it. He's been it's doing not it. his first season that he's doing that. Don't tell mm. me it's eight games. Tell me mm. about when you said you bought him as a mm. one-season wonder. He scored 40 mm. goals. Next mm. season, no. One season, he scored 42 goals. Following mm. season, again 40 goals. What more must he do? Mm. Mm. Liverpool was nowhere when we had our five big injuries last season. Liverpool was mm. nowhere there. Van Dijk was out. Allison was out. Fabinho was out. We were lost. Who was mm. with a joint um, golden, bo- uh, golden boot up there with Kane? Mo Salah. Salah. Mm. We didn't get the three points. We didn't get the result. We didn't get the trophy. But he was doing what he was supposed to do. And mm. that, for me, mm. he will mm. always be the best player. He's breaking records. Mm. That trophy is based on individual performance. He should be getting it. Yeah. 
Yeah, true. I mean, Messi will just go yeah, at like one weekend. Oh, Messi. Go, my bro, lad. So I wanted to say, Pesta, like I do agree with you, the best player is the last Ballon d'Or winner. But I also have to say, in terms of form, there's no one better than Mo Salah right now. Scoring at every in every single game is is doing is doing the things right. If you think about it, Mo Salah now has 104 goals, the same amount as Didier Drogba, right? And it's 88 games less. Think about just think about the magnitude of that and what Didier Drogba did for Chelsea. That's how yeah. I think he's one of the greatest players to ever play in the Premier League. He might not, he might not get the record of the most goals because of his age, but in terms of form, he's definitely up there with the best. Even KDB, I suppose you can call Jorginho on as well in terms of last last year's performance. But right now, Mo Salah is the best player in the Premier League. So, sorry, David, I can I just ask you? Can I? Can I just ask you? What would what do you take prime prime Salah or prime Suarez? Prime Salah. That is a yeah. fucking brilliant question. That mm. is a brilliant mm. question. Prime Salah. Prime Salah or prime, prime Suarez? Prime Salah. Prime Salah. Prime Salah. Prime Salah. 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 Prime Salah. 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 The, the, the prime Suarez obviously gave you more. Look at this is a this is a United and Liverpool. Prime Ronaldo, Prime Salah. Who's the best? You Prime tell Ronaldo. me. That's Prime a good question. Let's get yeah, out of here. Let's try to get out of here. Let's go. 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 let us no, 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 no. Is it the... Hey? Oh, no, 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 go ahead. I'm gonna, go ahead. I'm gonna be honest with you. Ronaldo and Messi in their prime is a level above the rest. You, you can't, I don't think it. Huh? Don't go to me. Don't go to Don't go to Messi. Don't go to Okay, here we go. Ronaldo Messi. Power play on the rest, the rest of the world. Power play on You're calling power Messi. play. You're calling play power play. Hey, okay, you call power play. play. Think, think, think. You call power yeah, play. You get <laughs> boy. You get Ronaldo Messi, uh, you, get the boy. Rest, you get the rest of the world. So I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, and the respect needs to be given, you know. They, they are brilliant players. They are brilliant players, and you have to give them the respect that they deserve. So Prime Ronaldo, obviously, I think he's been brilliant. So, yeah, that's, that's me. What do you say, Pista? You, uh, what? I didn't get the question. Power play with... Uh, power no, play. Prime, Prime Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Prime Salah. Prime not Ronaldo, always. Not for you, not in you. In general, hmm. what do you mean? Not for you, in, yeah. Prime, um, prime Ronaldo. The, hmm. Ronaldo is set the standard that no footballer will ever, ever no get to. I feel, yeah. Ronaldo yeah. and Messi, what they did, our parents and grandparents will talk about Pele and Maradona yeah. when they were watching yeah. soccer. And that. Ronaldo and Messi, if they outdone that. That is Charles' play. You can put Salah in that players with him now. What Ronaldo yeah. and Messi did, I don't see any other generation seeing that ever again. And we had the best football days of our lives watching yeah. that too. Against yeah. each other, yeah. for the club, for the country, oh, yeah. you're not yeah. going to see that ever again. I enjoy watching I, Ronaldo. Uh, be, be, uh, Benny, can I say something? Prime Ronaldo wasn't at United. Let me make that yeah, statement. No. Prime no, Ronaldo no, 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 was at no, United. No, we, we, so, we all know this. No, 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 okay, but then it's a different story. If we're going United versus Liverpool, then I would have uh, Salah that's at Liverpool now rather than Ronaldo that was at United. That's no, no, yes, if the, if the question, no, if the question is posed like that, then yes, definitely I agree with you. That but was I was not talking about, yeah, the play in general, man. The play in general. Play in general, yeah. No, but I hear you now. Definitely, Ronaldo is prime. Ronaldo is different ball game, different universe. No, it's the robots. Mm. 
Uh, anyway, yeah, I mean, remember what is tried? What is played in? What is that? Remember the team that Kuwaris played in, though. Mm. Compare that. Compare to Suarez. Suarez play. Suarez gives you more because he takes free kicks. He does. He, he, exactly. he scores the tapings, he scores the headers, he, he's everywhere. He's a baby Ronaldo, if I can put it like that. Because he can do, he's more versatile than what Salah is. But if I see it in the player itself, then I would rather take Salah in his prime. Like, I'm talking about a player that's going to carry a team, Salah can do it. He can bring that vibe in there. Suarez is going to bite someone, that's what he's going to do. <laughs> he's going to get the red card. That, that, yeah. He always has that yeah, in yeah, him. But, 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 and that's why I would more, always choose... As a player, Salah. Suarez so didn't really represent Liverpool. I, I think, well. I think Salah Liverpool does. Liverpool is more cohesion. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. That's exactly what Benny saying. Exactly what Benny saying. Oh, yeah. Signal. Yeah, Benny saying signal. Who's the yard? Danny boy signal is gone. No, no, no. I can't see anybody. One is first. Can you see me now? Yeah. 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 Like, like, no. The, what Liverpool got now is more of a cohesion. There's a team thing that's going on. That's bringing out the love. I can hear you. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Ah, okay, yes. cool. I can hear you loud and clear. I'm just inviting your brother back in here. Yeah. Okay, there's he in. Um, can you hear me? But look, gents, we've come. We've, it's been awesome. I wish I could chat to you guys all night. Um, love to the guys in the comments. I don't know what, or what you guys did to... Fucking Dale and Jigger that they made them leave, but um, wow, what what, you guys in the comments really, you guys literally make it. Xavier, my (laughs) really, my brother, I appreciate you jumping on. Um, yeah, it means a lot to me. You guys in the comments, link to Xavier's channel is in the description of this video. Like, um, Xavier's latest video, they're gonna do something massive this weekend, uh, with regards to Liverpool United and go. Subscribe to um, the last with the essay. Xavier, your final thoughts, my brother? Yeah, no, there's a, there's a lot of final thoughts, but first, I have to thank you guys for bringing me on. I do appreciate it. I love the banter. I love all of the comments that's come through. I just want to say one thing about, I think Stanton April said, he'll rather choose Suarez over Mo Salah. I don't think in any universe, even if this was the DC universe, will we ever choose Suarez. Just for <laughs> the fact that he had a shitty team that he had to do brilliant things for, and we appreciate that. But what Mo Salah is doing right mm. now is mad. He's doing the oh. with couple, couple field things. So Hello. Stanton, I hope you're not smoking any drugs, brother. He <laughs> <laughs> once again we get back the bragging rights. But on me, the last whistle, I hope you guys will come onto our channel and then we can converse a bit more. So yeah, thanks again, sure. guys. Cool. Yeah. Nah, definitely will definitely be on the I see only one Dave says click me in for the next chat, my brother. Um you can I don't know if you want to leave your details. I don't know if you want to leave your details in the comment section. My Facebook DM is always open. Um, hit me a message, hit me a DM, and you can send you the link for the next show only one day. And it's all love. Anyone is always welcome on my channel. There's no rules here by me. Um, but yeah, Penny B, final thoughts, my brother. Talk to me, the man with the biggest smile, my guy. Whatever happens, we're going to be drunk on Sunday, bro. Wait, Whatever wait, sorry, happens. Come on, 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 come that's my final. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, is Danny Boy still here with us? I see a great picture. I'm here, I'm here. Okay, we can't see you. Give me your is it great? Thoughts. There we Give go. me your final thoughts, my brother. Give me your final thoughts. Hey. Final Stand thoughts now. before we close off. Look, I'm just excited for the game on Sunday. No matter the performance you're doing. We can we can put that aside on Sunday. 
performance. Right now, if you put aside to play Liverpool, so we're going to go all hands blazing. There's no rivalry that we have against this Liverpool, this culture. So we're going to go all guns blazing. I'm excited. I'm excited as a fan. How is that player is going to go out there in that field? Well, the fans, they back. <laughs> so it's going to be a mood again. I, I'm, I'm mm. looking forward to it. Mm. I can't wait. Mm. Guys, don't miss it me or anything. Or, you know, we'll be there later on. <laughs> <laughs> Davino, 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 Davino anything you want to respond to your brother? Final, final thoughts as well, my brother. <laughs> my, my final thoughts is: if I was club, I would dare only to come at us. I dare you to come at us, because that would be a big mistake. I think first of all, that's you expecting a hiding if you're coming at us. At the very same time, I think all is gonna want the result. So, if he's gonna want the result, we're gonna there's, there's gonna be a boring. Uh, it's going to be a boring draw. They're going to sit back. They're going to defend. They're going to try and make something happen. But I would really like it if United can come at us. Let's just for a change, man. Let's just see two good teams, two great teams going at each other and just see the result. That's my final thoughts. And United not going to sit back. I don't think United is going to sit back. Uh, Never do. Old Trafford won't allow it. Never do. Old Trafford won't allow it. Old Trafford won't allow it. I wish. I wish. Old Trafford won't allow it, bro. I like this day fired up, fired up. Beast her. Your final thought, Yo. my brother. Take us, take us home, my guy. Big ups to everyone here in the comments. I see a lot of familiar names here. Different names are lost. And a lot of my people I see is in here. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. We're looking for that 200 mark. But yeah, thanks a lot, Debbie. Thanks to everyone. We're nine on away, bro. We're nine away. I think the only thing that we need now to end this part of is a good game on Sunday. I think we will all be happy if, if it's just a good game of football. Because yeah. that's the main thing. We all want the three points, but we don't want that no no draw or the one one yeah. draw. We, I don't want it's that. not that. Yeah. And or like two, Benny said, two, three, three. No. Old Trafford is not gonna allow it. And it's even so more uh, even more so because of last night's game. They can do it. I fully agree with the first half being poor, but it still takes character to come back from 2-0 down. Whether you play Atalanta or Young Boys or you know, Liverpool, anyone, it takes character to come back in the game. And Old Trafford, they see that United, that remains United. Liverpool does the same thing. They never give up. Play until the last whistle. And that's all we want to see on Sunday. I want to see them coming at us, we going at them, and goals. I, I would like the three points, but I just want a good game. But yeah, thanks again to everyone in the chat and the guys on the wow. pod. X, it was nice chatting to you. Davino and Dane, the last time I spoke to you guys was like on the first pod on DVD show. I think we're doing this for three years already and he's only back now. But yeah, thanks, so David. Is it so long? <laughs> it's <two laughs> COVID, COVID year it's doesn't count. So. <laughs> it's, it's not Don't a lot. <laughs> yeah. David, you're going to have to make a re uh, uh, after the game, another one. A review of the game. Yeah. Yeah. A full session. Mm. <laughs> I don't know about my bring... availability for that one. I'll let Sunday decide. <laughs> I don't I'll bring someone up... here and just say, Master P, Master P. Only, only I'll bring, I'll bring a box know. of tissues. I'll bring a box I, of I tissues. I don't feel that our subscribers and our viewers would like to see that. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'll save them from that. <laughs> Shot, man. I think Davis. Yeah, Davis out. Davis out. Shot the lodgings. Cheers. Oh, guys, man. Yes. Cheers. Have a good one. Sure, man. Save Xavier. See you, Xavier. Are you out? Are you still How was it? I'm here. We still, we still, <laughs> still live here, man. It still shows me. Oh, we're live. live. Maybe, maybe we must just clear the show out. Hmm? Ah, I think we need to clear. Huh? I, I, I think, think I United, think you. I don't think United is ready for us. I don't think United is ready for us. I don't think Liverpool is actually knowing like 
you're in the mind, in the back brain, what is coming? What is coming did to you, them? Did you, did you ever make a pot of curry? Did you ever make a pot of curry? <laughs> a pot <laughs> of no curry. Salting. That is what United <laughs> is right no now. Salt. It's a tasty pot. Okay. No salt. I mean, it's, it's, it's okay. tasteless. It's confusing. I mean, it's boring. Mm. I can tell my girls, let's go sleep. There's no football tonight. Let's go sleep. Let's not watch. That's, okay. let's not bother watch football. That's what I told them last night. Because United is no. that poor and boring. Okay, no, that's carry on, fine. Carry on, it's fine. My wife, I cut out, but oh, I'm back. Carry on, I, carry on. I did. I saw sure was still alive. I saw sure was still alive, and so I thought, you know, we might as well. You might, might as well. Break it down. Carry on, you guys. Carry on, by all means. Carry on. Don't mind me. <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't. I don't know. I don't think they know what's what's coming Sunday. Really, it's mm. United is really poor, and I don't expect any. Thing less. They stay on the ground. So when you're on the ground, the only way from the ground is up. So if we play a team like Liverpool, then the momentum and everything, the hype of the players will be lifted automatically. That hype of that players, the level that that players are on, I think we're going to see the best of it. The Paul Pogba's, the Ronaldo's, the Bruno Fernandes, them. We're going to see liquor. That's what we're going to see. That's what we're going to see. I told you that if United win us, your problems will remain. Your problems will remain. But I'm yeah. looking forward to I'm, I'm looking forward to a Mousala brace. Mate, look at that. and then Bobby Firmino and hey, Bobby Firmino three one. Yo guys, I appreciate it. Man. Shadi. Ah, uh, thanks, Devon man. Check it. Did you did you guys see that? Um... Hey, you know what? You guys need to send me your reactions after the game. You guys need to send me your reactions after the yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah. yeah, no, no worry, Kevin, man. But that's just you, sir. Can you, yeah, just quiet, yeah. man. Nah, but I really want to have another one, man. Yeah. Don't mind having another one. Yeah. Come on, you hear me. I can hear you, D. Go on. Kevin, go on, you yeah. ask. Oh. Yeah? Okay. Can Devin hear us? I don't think so. Oh, Devin, did you see that? What 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 uh, the Atlanta Dungas they were in the hotel and the alarm went over there by the 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 alarm uh -huh. of the team, the hotel that they were in, man, the alarm was going over all time. Like yeah. five times while they were sleeping. Yeah, they they like couldn't sleep. Was it before the game? And then one of that was no, it was before the game where they posted it. Hmm. The wives of the midfielders uh, posted that how much they sleep and when we come to yeah. Italy, then we mustn't some, uh, think like why something like that happening there in Italy also. Uh, but I mean, that's hmm. not work, man. That's not hmm. necessary to do yeah. that. You know, you don't have them off the game. And then we still go 2 no behind. <laughs> Yo. Yo. That this was bad. bad, man. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. Yeah. So, but but uh, I don't think that's something coming from a teammates. Maybe someone in the fans or so, and fan of the hotel that they're in or so. You know what I mean? And then I saw, you know, so Keenan, Keenan, um, Carlos cousin. He huh? posted it was Liverpool, it was Liverpool fans. I'm um, trying to keep Oli in his job. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, but it's, it's cool, man. You must enjoy the game on Sunday. Where are you watching the game? I'll probably be at home. I'm, hmm. I'm still deciding, yeah, but yeah, now I should be at home, man. Other than that. Okay. But yeah, it's going to be yeah. Saturday, but then. Yes, yes, that's correct, yes. Yeah. 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 Now, but it's cool. I'll enjoy see you me. again, man. Shut yeah, enjoy it. See you. Safety first. See you. Safe. Hey, United, no, all the way.